Hello everyone and welcome to another random bits and pieces segment for my brain and today sit a while for we are playing some more out of the park baseball 22 with the Montreal Expos historical who are struggling <clears throat> we are struggling that's a little bit of an understatement but we are not doing all that great uh, we've dropped our last six, including two against the Giants in the first two games of a four-game series. I am back to play the last two games of that series, and it won't get any easier. Um, that's for sure. We're just not playing very well. So, and it's and it's kind of it's kind of disappointing because we had a decent season last year we went 87 and 75 that i mean that's not like the greatest season of all time or anything but i mean that's a decent season and i thought that it would be something we would be able to build on but this year is just falling off the wagon or the wheels are at least for this season so we've been struggling uh, the next game is going to be against Salomon Torres. Now, Salomon Torres looks like he is struggling a little bit more this season. Uh, he had a few uh, decent seasons prior to this one, uh, including an 18 game, uh, 18 win season back when he was 20. Uh, but this year, he's 1 in 4 so far and almost as many walks as strikeouts, also playing against us. I would say there's probably a good chance that it gets better for him not for us but uh, we'll see maybe we're gonna go ahead and bounce back here i also noticed that my team is feuding now i can get it we're not winning many games we're 20 games out and a couple of veterans were traded so yeah all right so game three yeah, hopefully we can do better I'm thinking about what I want to do here. All right. Um, here's what I'm going to do. We're going to try the Johnny Nut experiment at center again. I haven't played Lance Blankenship in forever. I know he's not that great, but I need to give him a start. I'm, I'm going to start him in right field. Let's give him a start over there. All right, so obviously that's going to change my lineup a little bit. Uh, I think I'm going to have Doran it second... Aaron Johnson. Alright, so Johnny Nutt is not getting the same kind of protection that he did in last game where he was batting behind Bill Doran. Now he's going to be batting be behind Willie Green. Willie Green tends to strike out a little bit, but sometimes he's going to put out some gems of games. At least that's what he did last year. So we'll see what happens here. I'm just trying to shake my team up. We're not doing anything, so <laughs> I'm just trying different things here. All right, so Johnny Damon is going to be batting first for the Giants. Marvin Benard, Matt Williams, Fred McGriff, Clay Bellinger, Darren Lewis, Alan Trammell, and Brian Banks. So pretty much the same lineup we faced in the first two games, except that they have Brian Banks starting instead of Decker. So as we say, let's get this thing going. All right, so of course, as usual, play ball and go Expos. All right, so to face Miguel Batista, uh, we are going to face Johnny Damon first. And it's going to be 0-1 on Johnny Damon. That 
it's a 2F and Calderon is after it, but he cannot catch it, it falls in front of him. That is a single for Giant Demon to get the game going. So Marvin Bernard gets to come to bat with nobody out. Runner on first, two and one on Bernard. That's it to first. Oh, that's almost a double play. So we get the lead runner, Damon, at second base. And then uh, Bernard beats out the true at first. So there's only one out. Matt Williams is now the batter. There's no count on him. That's it to left. It falls in front of Calderon. All right, so now there's runners on first and second with one out. Miguel Batista has been struggling this season. We're going to need uh, some kind of a shake-up. Um, for our starting rotation and our starters for the most part have not been deliver delivering hopefully tom gordon helps rosado's been pretty good that's about it so. all right so one out two runners on for fred mcgriff a pretty dangerous bat there two and two. Oh, struck out swinging that's good that's good clay bellinger is next two and two and he struck out looking Ooh. So we got out of that pretty good. Sorry, my allergies are. I'm. I, I swear, I'm not picking my nose. It just itches a little bit. All right, so we get out of that jam, and now that I know the shields is going to be the first batter to face Salomon Torres here in the bottom of the first. Two and two to the shields. That's a two left. Damon after it. Oh, he can't catch it. So that's going to be extra bases for the shields. The ball goes all the way to the wall, and it's a triple for the line of the shields to get the inning started. Oh, surely we can't score him. Come on. All right, so nobody on. Bill Daran is the batter. 0-1. Oh that's it right at the first baseman on a liner. So, of course, we don't score on it, and now there's one out. Ivan Calderon is next. 2-2. Two and two. Oh, he's drilled. He was it for the seventh time this season. All right, so now there's runners on first and third. One out. Charles Johnson is the batter. Full count. That's it to right. That should be deep enough. Well, actually, it's out of there. That's a three-run blast for Charles Johnson. That makes me happy. We take a 3 nothing lead here in the bottom of the first. All right, three run blasts for Charles Johnson, and now Witty Green is the next batter. 0 oh, and 2 to Green. And that's, oh, that's extra bases. That's it to left there. All the way into the corner. That's a double for Witty Green, so he gets on base for Johnny Knott. Come on, Johnny Knott. I believe in you. That's why I'm playing you again. 2 and 1. That's it. Down the line. Third baseman gets it. He's thrown out at first. There's two outs now. And now Ray Sanchez is going to be the batter. No count. And that's, oh, that's it to center for it. Is Woody Green going to score? Oh, yeah, he is. It is 4 nothing for the Expos now. There you go. Lance Blankenship is next. And, oh, they, they already replaced Salomon Torres. Gil Heredia is on the mound. I didn't catch that earlier. Did he get hurt? And I missed it? Is that what happened? Where's the box score? Um, oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, he is. He got hurt. That's why. Okay. I was like, that's uh, that seems a, a little premature to pull in. All right, so Gil Heredia is now up in relief. I missed it. Sorry. It happens. Uh, Lance Blankenship is the batter now. There's a runner on first. No count. That's it to third. And they get the lead runner at second for the third out. But the Expos get a crooked number on the board. It's 4 nothing for the Expos after one. All right, so Darren Lewis is the next batter. One and two to Lewis. Struck out swinging. Alan Trammell is next. One and one. 
that's it to right. Blanken chip after it. And he catches it for the second out. Brian Banks is the next batter. Two and two to him. And that's it to first. Oh no, it's down the line. I thought he cut it. I got fooled. The ball was so much on the line I didn't I didn't see it roll on the line. So that's a double down the line here for Brian Banks, and that brings up Gil Heredia with two outs, runner on second, full count, and he struck out swinging. That was ball four, but that's okay, we'll take the strikeout. All right, Batista is the first batter here in the bottom of the second, 1-0. and oh. That's it weekly to the pitcher. And he is thrown out at first. That is one out. The line with the shields is going to be the next batter. Started the game with a bang with a triple. Full count to him. That's it to first. McGriff the throw to f the pitcher covering first. And it is the second out of the inning. Bill Doran is the next batter. 0 oh 2. That's it to second. And he's thrown out at first. The Expos go down 1 2 3 here in the second inning, but they are still up 4 0. Johnny Damon is next for the Giants 3 and 1. And he walks. So the Giants get some speed on the bases. Marvin Bernard is the next batter. Nobody out, no count. Damon goes. And he's safe. That's 42 stolen bases for Johnny Damon this season. Marvin Bernard is still the batter. It is now 1-1 one one for him with Johnny Damon at second base in scoring position. Bernard hits it to left. Calderon after it. He gets it. And on the play, Damon advances to third base. So now the Giants have a runner on third base with one out. And Matt Williams is going to be the batter. One and two. Grounds it to third. We're getting the out at first on the play. Johnny Damon scores. It is now 4-1 for the Expos. Fred McGriff is next. There's nobody on and two outs now. One and two. Oh, struck out swinging on a terrible, terrible pitch. All right, so Ivan Calderon is now the batter, facing Gide Radio, still on the mound, two and two. That's it too short. The throw is right on the money. That's the first out of the inning. Charles Johnson is next. Of course, we will remember his three-run blast in the first inning. One and oh. That's it weekly to center. Darren Lewis after it. And he catches it for the second out of the inning. And now we are going with Witty Green. He had a double earlier, 2-1 and one to Witty Green. That's it to first, a grounder. McGriff tosses it to Eredia, who covers first. That's the third out of the inning. And we're going into the top of the fourth. It is still 4-1 for the Expos. Clay Bellinger is the next batter, 1-0. and oh. oh, that's it, center there. Nice piece of hitting. Alright, so the Giants have a runner on board here with nobody out. Darren Lewis is the next batter. No count. Oh, and he bunts. That's a sacrifice. So on the play, Bellinger gets to second base. And there's one out for Adam Trammell. No count. It's it to third base. Green with the throw, and he's out. Brian Banks is the next batter, full count on Banks, and he walks. All right, so now runners on first and second, there's two outs, and Gil Heredia is going to bat, 0-2, and, and he struck out swinging, there you go, thank you very much. All right, it's going to be our own side of inning number four, we have Johnny Knott starting things up here in the fourth inning no count to him that's a two left and that's a single for Johnny Nutt all right so we have a runner on first and nobody out Ray Sanchez is the batter now no count to him he bunts and he's thrown out at first so the sacrifice is working so we have they we have a runner on 
second base with one out. Lance Blankenship is the batter. No count to him. Oh, and he goes. And he's out. All right, not got uh, cut stealing. Two and two. And Blankenship hits it weakly to third base, and he's thrown out at first. That's the third out of the inning. We are going to go in the top of the fifth. It is so 4-1 for the Expos. Johnny Damon gets things started for the Giants in the fifth inning. One and two. It's it to second. The Shields with the throw, and he's out. That is one out. Marvin Bernard is next. Full count to Bernard. And he walks. Uh, Alright, Matt Williams is next. No count. Oh, Bernard is going. There's not even a throw there. So he steals his 23rd uh, base this season. Matt Williams is next. One and two. It's a two third. Green with the throw, and he's cut down. That's two outs now. And now Fred McGriff is the batter with two outs. Runner on second base. One and oh. That's it to center for it. On the play, Bernard scores. Then on the play, McGriff gets to second base. So it is now 4 2 for the Expos. Uh, Clee Bellinger is next. No count to Bellinger. All right, that's it to left. Calderon after it. And he catches it for out number three. Uh, the Giants cut back into the lead a little bit. We are still up 4-2, however. All right, so Batista is going to be batting first here. And Gilleradzio is still on the mound. I mean, why not? He's been pitching really well. 2-0 oh, to Eredzio. Oh, that's it for Batista to left. And keep in mind, the Giants, after last game and prior to this one, they traded Kevin Gross to the Yankees, so they don't have him to pitch anymore. All right, so the line with the Shields is the next batter. Runner on first, nobody out. 1-0. and oh. And he tries to bunt, but it's popped up to third base, so that's a wasted out. Bill Duran is next. 0-2. Oh, Come on, Billy. And he struck out looking. So Ivan Kaderon is next. 1 and 0. Oh. oh, that's that's gone. That's a two run blast there. So Kaderon gets a Omer. And it is now 6 2 for the Expos here in the bottom of the fifth. Thanks to a two run blast by Ivan Kaderon with Miguel Batista on, on base. Charles Johnson is next. 1 and 1. That's it weekly to second base, and it is cut by Bellinger. That's the third out of the inning. Darren Lewis is next. One and two. That's it to right. Blankenship is pretty casual over there, and he catches it for the first out. Alan Trammell is the next batter, 1-0. and oh. That's it to in foul territory, and Charles Johnson gets it for the second out. Right, and Brian Banks is the next batter. There's two outs now, no count, and that's it to third. Woody Green with the throw, and that's it for the Giants in the sixth inning. The Expos are still up four with a 6-2 lead. All right, so the Giants bring in the lefty Brian Hickerson. Woody Green is going to be the first batter to face him. Full count to Woody Green. And he walks. Good presence for Woody Green. Um, Johnny Nutt is next. Runner on first. Nobody out. 0-1. Oh, Nutt tries to bunt, but he misses. Two and two, and he struck out looking. Ray Sanchez is next, one and oh. Oh, that's a double play ball. Yup, yup, yup. All right, so Sanchez grounds it to second, and they 
They managed to get the double play, so we're out of the sixth inning. Not looking all that great. All right, Brant Brown is going to be the batter now. One and one. That's it to center. Johnny not after it. Catches it for the first out. Johnny Damon is next. One and one to Damon. Oh, that's going to be it. Johnny Damon is having himself a pretty nice game here. All right, so Johnny Damon gets on base for I believe the four. I believe it's the fourth time in this game, and now he's on first base, or maybe it's only the third time. And now Marvin Bennard is the batter. One and oh, Damon goes, and he's safe. Two and two to Bennard, struck out swinging. All right, so now Matt Williams is going to be the batter with two outs, runner in scoring position. No count. That's it to right for it. And on the play, uh, Damon scores. It is now 6-3 for the Expos. Bringing in Jim DeA. face Fred McGriff runner on first two outs two and one that's oh it falls in all right so it was it fell in no no man's land so that's a it there's runners on first and second now two outs Clay Bellinger is the batter oh and one that's it to first. Doran gets it, touches first base, and that's it for the Giants in the seventh. They did get a run. They, they're, they're not going down without a fight. We're still at three, so it's six three, but three runs is not that big of a, of a lead in baseball. Now, in hockey, that's different. In soccer, that's unsurmountable. <laughs> but in baseball, not so much. All right, so Todd Jones is now going to be the pitcher for the Giants so Blankenship is one and two right now it's it weekly to the pitcher and he's thrown out at first for the first out all right we're gonna bring in the pinch hitter Brett Barbary because he can hit from the left side he's the only one on the bench who can so let's bring him three and one to Barbary and he walks. All right, so there's runner on first, and there's one out. The line with the shields is next, one and one. Oh, that's it pretty well to right. It's going to fall in. Oh, he's going for third base. Is he safe? Yes, he is. All right, so Barbary on third base. The shields are on first. There's one out. Bill Doran is the batter. No count. Oh, the shields goes. And he's safe. 37 stolen bases for him. So now we have two runners in scoring position with one out. Full count to Doran, and he walks. That means that the bases are juiced for Ivan Calderon, who already has a home run in this game. One and two. And that's popped to shortstop. So that's the second out of the inning. Bases are still juiced, but two outs now for Charles Johnson. 0-1, oh that's it too short, and they get him to first. All right, so we load the bases, and we are unable to do anything with that. So it is still 6-3 for the Expos. All right, so Darren Lewis is the batter for the Giants. I brought in John Doris. He, he keeps disappointing me, and I keep using him because what do you know? He's one of the only righties I have. Well, not, I have Pavano and Rick Mahler, but they have a lot of stamina. I try to save them for when I need more innings. All right, so that's a, that was a weak grounder to the pitcher. He's thrown out at first. That's one out. Alan Trammell is next. Full count to Trammell. And he walks. Brian Banks is next. Runner on first, one out. No count. 
that's it down the line. Oh, and he's safe. Dang. Alright. So, runners on first and second, one out. Now they are bringing in Ke Kevin Miller as a pinch hitter. No count. And he's drilled. Alright, so I think it's time to bring somebody else. I don't know what to do with John Duras. He was so good last year. Uh, you know what? I'm going to bring Ben Van Ryn. He's been good for me as a reliever. Alright, so John Duris only gets one out, and then I have to pull him after he loads the bases. Johnny Damon is the batter now against uh, Ben Van Ryn. There's one out. Bases juiced. Two and one. That's it to first. We get the out at home. But we do not get the out at first. So we got the lead runner at on base. So at least they didn't score. But we can't get the double play. So there's two outs now. Bases are still juiced. Marvin Bernard is the batter. Three and oh god. We're going to be walking in a guy. Yeah, that's not good. Matt Williams is the next batter with two outs. Still bases juiced. One and two. That's it to center. Johnny Nutt should have that. And he does. All right. So the Giants get yet another run. They're not willing to die. Just, just die already. I deserve a win. I need a win. I want a win. I'm probably going to lose. Oh. All right. Uh, Woody Green is the batter. Um. And they brought the lefty Dave Rigetti. I'm bringing in Grissom. Come on, Marky. Two and two. That's it to center for it. Grissom gets on board here as a pinch hitter for Woody Green. And now Johnny Nutt is going to be the batter with a runner on first. Nobody out. 1 0. Oh, Grissom is probably going. Oh, Johnny Nutt tried to bunt again. Tried to bunt again and missed. 1 and 2 now. And he swung at a terrible pitch. And on the play, Grissom was going, so he got. Uh, is 50th stolen bases of the season. Ray Sanchez is next. No count. That. Oh, what a play by Darren Lewis there. He slid to get that. So there's two outs now. Runner on second base. Lance Blankenship is the batter. 0 and 1. Grounds it to short. That's going to be an error. All right, so Trammell makes an error. So we have runners on first and third. There's two outs. I'm bringing in Ruben Rivera as a pinch hitter. One and two. And he struck out swinging. I should have brought in Todd Amy. All right, so we get runners on first and third, but we cannot do anything with that. All right, so now I have a couple changes to make. All right, so there we go. So Marquise Grissom is gonna stay in the game. He's gonna play center field. I move Johnny Nut to third. I know it's dangerous to do that, but uh, but yeah. Oh, I forgot to put Scott. I was like, no, I don't. But I forgot to put uh, Scott Ruskin as a pitcher there. There you go. All right. So we're bringing in Scott Ruskin for a save situation in the top of the ninth. Fred McGriff is going to be the first batter to face him. One and two. He 
Struck out swinging. That's the first out of the inning. Clay Bellinger is next. No count on Bellinger. And he's hit by the ball. That's a lot of hits batsmen today. Alright, so runner on first, one out. Darren Lewis is the batter, 1 0 to him. It's a third. Oh, Johnny Nutt here initiates the double play. That's what we want to see from Johnny Nutt, not three error games. Alright, so the Expos managed to hold on to the lead that they carved uh, starting in the first inning. And we win game three of the four game series, 6 4. Ooh, that's gonna hurt the Cubs there. Looks like Ryan Sandberg was hurt for six weeks. A fractured finger. Six weeks. Yeah, he was having a pretty decent season. Alright, so we are going to click on finish today. All right, so there's been another trade. Yeah, it's that time of the year. It's what, July, what, July 17th. So teams are starting to trade more. I like that. All right, so the Red Sox traded Greg Cataret to the White Sox for Michael Monday. Oh, that was only a one for one, okay. So Greg Cataret I am familiar with. Uh, he was a left-handed reliever. All right, so he's so useful. And Michael Monday is eh. I think the White Sox got the got the better part of the deal here. Yeah, Michael Monday never exited. Uh, yeah. He didn't go far in his baseball career. All right, so that's uh, White Sox got better, Red Sox not so much. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and play game four of that four game series. For the occasion, we're gonna be facing John Burkett and we are going to go ahead and send Tom Gordon on the mound. So that's gonna be his first start as a Montreal Expo. He has a good record this year. He's seven and two with a 3.36 ERA. Uh, he does tend to walk uh, quite a bit of batters, but uh, he does get a share of strikeouts as well. So lots of uh, lots of movement around, I guess. John Burkett not having a good season after. Oh, I think we talked about that last time we played against the Giants. Like he had two identical seasons of 14 and 12, but he's three and 10 so far this season. It's been tough for him. Hopefully, we can continue to make it tough. All right, so let's see. I don't have anybody tired. I'm going to go ahead and keep those guys in. And let's see. So Johnny Damon, Marvin Bernard, Matt Williams, Fred McGriff, Clay Bellinger, Alan Trammell, Steve Dicker, and Adam Eisdu is going to be playing in center field there. All right. So it's going to be John Burkett against Tom Gordon on the mound. All right, so I'm... Kind of excited. I'm always excited when I get like a new player. I, I want to see how he's going to be playing for me and everything. The one that I'm really disappointed that we didn't keep was Greg Swindle. He was really good for us two years ago when we traded for him. He was lights out and I really wanted for us to kind of extend him for several years. That didn't happen. That made me sad. But, uh, you know, I, I cried a lot and I'm still here. All right. All right, so of course, play ball. And right, so Tom Gordon is gonna be, and uh, you know, his stamina is maybe a little bit of a concern. It's a little low at 64. It's not terrible, but it's a little on the low side. Uh, so Johnny Damon is gonna be the first one to face him. No count. A 
sets it to left, and Calderon dives, and he catches it for the first out. Marvin Bernard is next, 0-2, and, and he struck out swinging. Take a seat! Matt Williams is next, 0-2, oh struck out swinging as well. All right, well... Giants go down 1-2-3 against Tom Gordon's in his first start as an expo, so it's hard to ask for more than that. I mean, he could have technically struck out the side on nine pitches, but, you know, I'll let it slide this one time. All right, so the line with the Shields is the first one to face John Burkett, 0-1-1. Alright, so the Shields pops up and it's cut by Trammell for the first out. Marquis Grissom is next. No count on Grissom. Grounds it to third. The throw is right on the money. That's out number two. Next one, or next up, is Ivan Calderon. Three and one. And he walks, so we get a runner on base here for Charles Johnson with two outs. No count, Calderon is going, and he's out. Alright, that's three outs for the Expos. And now we have Tom Gordon facing Fred McGriff, 0-2 to McGriff. Struck out swinging. Clay Benninger is next, 1-2. Grounds it too short. All right, and he's thrown out at first for the second out. Alan Trammell is next, 2 0 to Trammell. It's it weekly to center. Rivera catches it for the third out, so the Giants go down 1 2 3. Now Charles Johnson gets another shot at batting, 1 0. That's it weekly to center. I is due after it. Catches it for the first out. Woody Green is next. 1 0. Oh. That's it to center for a single. Alright, so Woody Green is at first. There's one out, and Bill Doran is the batter now. 2 and 2. That's it weekly to center, it falls in. On the play, Woody Green gets to third base, so we have runners on the extremities now with one out, and Ruben Rivera is the batter, two and two. That's it weekly, and it's cut by the third baseman, Matt Williams, and that's the second out of the inning. Ray Sanchez is the next batter, no count to him. That's it weekly to right. And it is cut by Marvin Bernard. So the Expos get two runners on, but they cannot capitalize. It is still 0 0 going into the top of the third. Steve Decker is the batter 2 0. That's it to right. Grissom after it. He catches it for the first out. Anamize do is next. 1 and 1. That's it to left, and that's going to be a base hit. Oh, that's going to also be an error. Or not. Okay. Alright, so... Giants have a runner on first. There's one out. John Burkett is next. No count. Bounce and misses. Oh, he bounded it foul for a strike three. That's a strikeout. Alright, so now there's two outs running around first. Johnny Damon is the batter, 3 and 1, and he walks. So now there's two runners on. And Marvin Bernard is going to be the batter, 0 oh and 1. That's it to center. Rivera catches it. That's the third out of the inning. So we get out of trouble here at Olympic Stadium. Tom Gordon is going to be the first batter here in the bottom of the third to face John Burkett, 1-1. One one. Oh, Tom Gordon tries to bunt himself on, and he is retired. 
The line of the shields is next, 2-0. Oh. It's at two left. And it is caught by Damon for the second out of the inning. Marquise Grissom is next, 1-1. One one. Grounds it to second. He swung at a terrible pitch. Was handcuffed, and we are down 1-2-3. Top of the fourth, still no score. Matt Williams is next, 2 0. Oh. That's it weekly. Doran after it catches it for the first out. McGriff is next, 2 and 2 to Fred McGriff. It's it weekly to right. Grissom after it catches it for the second out. Clay Banger is next, full count to him. It's it to right. And Grissom catches it for the third out. Ivan Calderon is the first batter in the bottom of the fourth. There's no count to him. That's it to right center. Ice do after it catches it for the first out. Not a whole lot of offense here today. Charles Johnson is next. 0 and 2. Struck out swinging. Woody Green, next batter, one and one. That's it to left. It's going to fall in for a hit. All right, so Woody Green gets on base here. Now there's two outs for Bill Durham. Full count. That's it to right for a single. On the play, Woody Green gets to third base. So we have runners on first and third with two outs. Ruben Rivera is the batter, one and two. That's it to right for a single. All right, so a run scores. And on the play, Doran gets to third base. All right, so we still have runners on extremities with two outs, but this time we are up one nothing, and we have Ray Sanchez as the batter, one and two. It's, a, oh, dear God, Ray Sanchez here with, with a home run. Oh, first home run of the season for Ray Sanchez. He does not have a lot of power. But that one was out of here. That's a three-run blast. It is now 4-0 for the Expos on a very unlikely home run by Ray Sanchez. All right, so Tom Gordon is the next batter, one and one. Rounds it to second base. And he's thrown out at first. That's the third out of the inning. But the Expos get four runs here in the bottom of the fourth. It is now 4 nothing. Right, Alan Trammell is the next batter in the fifth. Full count. Struck out swinging while wow, Tom Gordon is uh, not doing too shabby right now. Steve Decker. Full count to Decker. Uh, he swung it, and it's going to fall in in left field for it right in front of Calderon. That's one out. Adam Isdu is the next batter, one and two. Grounds it to short, and we only get the lead runner at second base. So there's two outs now, runner on first, and they are keeping John Burkett. He's the batter now. Oh, snap throw to first, and we caught him snoozing there. He is out. Right, John Burkett is still on the mound, and now we have the line of the shields. Two and one. That's it weekly in foul territory. Decker after it, he catches it for the first out. Grissom is next, full count. Struck out swinging. That is the second out of the inning, and now we have Ivan Calderon, no count on him. That's it to right, and that's going to be... Oh, it went foul, okay. I was like, is that a glitch, is that a home run, and like it w just looks weird? No, it was a foul ball, one and two now. It's weakly to center, but it falls in in front of Aizdu. So now we have a runner on first with two outs. And the batter will be Charles Johnson. No count. Calderon goes. This this time he's safe. Charles Johnson hits it to left. It should be cut by Johnny Damon, and it is. So that is the third out of the inning. We are still up for nothing. All 
All right, so <clears throat> since we cut Steve Decker napping at first uh, in the last inning, John Burkett is starting out the sixth for the Giants, 0-2. And he struck out looking. That was a strikeout number six for Tom Gordon. Johnny Damon is next, full count. And he walks. All right, so speed on the bases for the Giants. And now we have Marvin Bernard, no count. Damon goes, and he's safe. That's 44 stolen bases for Johnny Damon this season. The Giants now have a runner in scoring position with one out. 3-0 to Marvin Bernard, and he walks. All right, so now there's two runners on, one out. The runners have speed, and Matt Williams is the batter. 1-0, Damon goes. And he's safe, and Bernard went as well. So now there's runners on second and third with one out. One and one. That's it to left. Calderon after it. Is it deep enough? Looks like it was. No, it was not. Oh, we got Johnny Damon at home. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, Witty Green is next, no count, bottom of the six for the Expos, and he grounds it to first, and he's thrown out, that's the first out of the inning. Bill Doran is next, 1-0 to Bill Doran, that's it to second, oh that was one heck of a play there by Bellinger, so that's two outs now, and now we have Ruben Rivera who uh, drove in our first run of the game in the fourth, 0-1. Oh, right, that's it to right. Bernard is after it, yeah, and he catches it for the third out. So after six, it is 4-0 for the Expos in Montreal. Uh, let's see. All right, Megriff is the next batter, 3-1. and one. All right. Gordon is starting to walk a lot of batters here. Alright. Um, so Megriff walks. Now there's a runner on first. Nobody out. Clay Bellinger is the batter. 0-1. That's a 2. Yeah. Okay. That's it all the way to the fence. So... Alright. So the old Megriff at third there so that's a double for Clay Bellinger runners on second and third nobody out Alan Trammell is the batter 0-1 all right so that's a grounder to third McGriff scores on the play we get the batter out at first and the runner on second holds there so now there's a runner on second base there's one out and Steve Decker is the batter one and two that's it to second, and that's an error. So a run scores, and now Decker ends up at second base. And it is now 4-2. I think I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Garden started really good, and I know the error, you know, the error, that's not his fault. But uh, I think I'm going to go with a different harm here. Try Carl Pavano. Alright, so Pavano comes in to face Adam Aizdu. Uh, one out, runner on second base, one and two. Oh, Aizdu struck out looking. I would be not too happy with that if it was, if roles were reversed. Kevin Miller comes in as a pinch hitter. Two outs, runner on second base, two and two. And he struck out swinging. Oh, Pavanu comes in and gets two important outs. I probably should have done a double switch. Um, too late now. All right, so Brian Hickerson is the pitcher for the Giants now. Ray Sanchez is the batter, one and two. it to third base and he's thrown out at first that's the first out of the inning I'm gonna bring in a pinch hitter all right 
I guess I'm gonna go with Tadene against the lefty. Alright, Tadene uh, is gonna face Brian Nickerson here, full count. That's it weekly. Uh, too short. Alan Trammell gets it. That's the second out of the inning. Now that I know the shields is going to be the batter. One and two. Struck out swinging. All right. So, yeah. Three up, three down for the Expos in the seventh. I, I have to bring in a... Uh, the shields has struggled. So, let's... Uh, Let's keep Tadini at second base and oh god, who do I go with? I'm gonna bring in Gabe White. He's less tired than Jim Deer. Alright, so Gabe White comes in in the 8th inning, and he's going to be facing Johnny Damon, 2-1. and one. That's it to 3rd, Woody Green with the throw, that's the first out of the inning. Marvin Bernard is next, 1-1. One and one. That's it, all the way to Ivan Calderon, that's a it. Matt Williams is next, no count on Williams. That's it to center. Rivera after it, and he can't catch it. Alright, so that's gonna be. Okay, alright, so here's what happened. So the runner scored. Williams got a double. He tried to stretch it into a triple, but we nailed him at third. So there's two outs now, nobody on, but the Giants did get a run. It is now four to three. And we are facing Fred McGriff, full count. That's it to second base. Amy with the throw, and that's the third out of the inning. The Giants are they're always lingering around like i'm not getting a 8-1 victory or anything like that it's like uh, it's gonna close you know all right so ickerson is still the batter uh, the pitcher sorry and i have marquise grissom to bat no count on grissom that's it to right that's gonna be a single ivan calderon is next two and two to calderon that's it to right. All right. And it's cut by Bernard. And on the play, Grissom gets to second base. Charles Johnson is the next batter. There's one out. Runner in scoring position for us. No count. Oh, they're just walking Charles Johnson to, in to enact the double, the double play. And now Woody Green is the batter. I'm going to use a pinch hitter here. Ah, I think I'm gonna bring Johnny Nut. He has a bit of pop in his bat, or at least he's supposed to have a little bit of pop in his bat. All right, runners on first and second, one out, one and oh. Oh, runner goes, there's no throw, so both runners advance. They are now both in scoring position. With one out, one and one. That's it, weekly to the pitcher. And he's thrown out at first. Oh, Johnny Nut. All right, they're bringing in Dave Fitzpatrick as a pinch hitter. Build a pinch that as a reliever. Wow, why do I always want to call the pitchers batters for some reason? All right, Billy Doran is next to face the righty. Two and two. Two runners in scoring position. It would be beautiful here. Instead, we strike out swinging, and that's the end of the inning. All right, so we're going to bring in... We're going to bring in Scott Ruskin as a reliever now, because it is the top of the ninth, and it is a save situation. Oh, God, I forgot to do that again. Alright, Clay Bellinger is going to be the first batter to face him in the top of the ninth. Three and one. Mm -hmm. 
That's it weakly to the pitcher, and then he boots it. So that's an error. Alright, so runner on first, nobody out. Adam Trammell is the batter, 2 and 1. Trammell bunts. We get him out at first. The sacrifice is good, though, so. Bellinger is at second base with one out. Steve Decker is next, 1 and 0. Oh. That's it, weekly to right. Grissom after it. Alright, and. Uh, the runner stays on second base. Adam Aizdu is the last out of the Giants. Two outs, runner on second base. One and one. That's it to left. Calderon after it. And he catches it for the third out. All right, so we lost the first two games of the series against the Giants, but we did win the last two. So we saved the, our honor a little bit. Alright, so Tom Gordon did pretty good all the way until we started to, like the pitch count started to get up and uh, he started to walk batters and all kinds of stuff, so yeah. So maybe not the best um, outing I have ever seen or anything like that, but you know, he got us a W, so that's what matters. All right. Now we're going to finish today and see what's going on here in the world of baseball. Player of the week, Tim Salmon of the Angels. All right, so in the American League, the player of the week was Tim Salmon. Craig Biggio was named player of the week in the National League. Chuck Finley, season over for him in California. Partially torn UCL. Oh, he is out for 10 months. That's a long time. So, who leads the Major League Baseball in cut stealing? Oh. We have two out of five listed there. So do the cards. So, I guess when you try to steal a lot, you're going to get cut stealing a lot. That kind of just makes sense, right? Weekly uh, team power rankings. Uh, we climbed just a little bit, so we're 24th out of 28. That's not great. Oh, there's been another trade. So the Dodgers made a trade with the Tigers. So the Dodgers uh, put their hands on Joe Esketh. And going to the Tigers is going to be James Mutt, Jimmy Des and Jimmy Despot. So Joe Esketh is 35. He's still a two and a half star player. Yeah, the, they didn't get great prospects for that. So yeah, not necessarily a great trade for the Tigers. I'm gonna go ahead and save the game. We're gonna go ahead and take a look, see if our friend Ivan Calderon is still somewhere around the leaders. Alright, so he's still batting, uh, third in batting average behind John O'Rood and Movan. He's first in uh, OPS, that's pretty good. Whenever you're ahead of um, Ken Griffey Jr. for a you know for a good offensive stat, that's definitely a, a good thing. All right, folks, I'm gonna go ahead and S I think I saved already, but I'm just gonna do it again. All right, and I do want to thank you for tuning in. I'm gonna go ahead and stop here for today. So if you're watching this on YouTube, as usual, if you like the video and you would like to help support me and my channel, please feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment.
all of that good stuff. And until I roll this game again, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.